let me hear you say KO Competition can't move me, wrong's one thing you won't prove me Bruce Lee, rhymes take a slug for your front two teeth One, two, three, let me hear you say KO Competition can't move me, wrong's one thing you won't prove me Bruce Lee, rhymes take a slug for your front two teeth I'm the kid YouTube, what's up? Kilo Score, MaddenStudents.com. Bringing you guys a uh, new little defensive play that I uh, found labbing with uh, Slim Reaper. And it's quickly becoming my new defensive base play. Uh, the play is going to be out of 3 3 5 split. And the play is 3 deep switch. Uh, the adjustments are real minimal. Um, basically, this is going to be a great defense to run against passing um, and pretty good against the outside run as well. Inside run, so-so, but um, that'll really depend on you know how well you use your defensive lineman uh, or a linebacker if you want to. But uh, you know I recommend using the defensive lineman, and I'll, I'll show you why here in a second. Uh, first, I'm just going to take you through the adjustments. Basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have both of them linebackers that are on the yellows. You're going to want to put them on purple, and then you're going to want to put two defensive linemen, your choice, on yellow zones. Um, I recommend going either both the outside guys or the one over the tight end and skip one and put the next one on a yellow but um, I like using the both both guys on the outside because they just seem to, to protect the middle a lot better um, but if like I said if you want to do one of the uh, you know every other one that's fine just make sure that the one that is lined up directly over top of the tight end is one of the guys that's in a yellow because otherwise they're just gonna be able to streak the tight end right off the line <laughs> excuse me and um, go ahead and get a, a quick easy cheap gain and, you know, obviously we don't want that. So if the play was, you know, reversed and it was on this side, we would want to make sure that the uh, left of screen defensive end was one of the guys in the yellow. Now, keep in mind here you're only going to have a two-man pass rush, which is the predominant reason why I would suggest usering one of the defensive tackles. Because the computer just, I mean, we're going to run it here with me using the linebacker. Um, you're going to see it just takes forever for the computer to even, like, remotely get close to him. And if you give a quarterback this much time, guys, it doesn't matter how great the defense is you have behind it, he's going to find somebody open. Um, as it stands, really, the only thing that, that's super effective against this is people that like to throw deep and rocket catch. Um, if you run into somebody like that, I suggest switching uh, your pass defense and your zone coverage to conservative. That'll push your, uh, your zones back, and it will also make it so that they go for the swat and not the pick. If your opponent is not really all about um, throwing up the streaks, then put your pass defense on aggressive, and you will just see an ungodly amount of interceptions come from this defense. So I got my boy the worst one here with me, and I'm going to go ahead and have him throw the ball against this defense. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pick the three deep switch, and he's going to go ahead and just pick, uh, let's actually, we're going to have him, yeah, this is where he messed up. He just picked a, a single play. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and do it random though. Um, just again, we'll just go shotgun pass. That way we can have several different plays back to back, back to back, back to back, and uh, give you guys an idea of you know where the coverage is on the field. Uh, one of the reasons that I like this three deep switch so much is because it's still a cover three, but the outside corners are on the flat zones. Which is great because you know that's going to take away all those motion wheel routes and quick throws to the flat. Those won't be there because the outside corners are the ones that are on the flat zone. So that's definitely a positive thing. Um, you can see here the first first play, quick little interception. Um, definitely a good team to run it with Stanford. They just seem like really aware in their linebacker department. Um, this is uh, an actual uh, snap before I was set up kind of thing. <laughs> This actually doesn't take any time to set up, guys. It's very quick, very easy. Um, just in practice mode, obviously, he comes to the line already set and prepared. So no matter what I did on this, <laughs> I ran everything. Everything I ran. The only thing I can do was sideline. I throw rocket rocket catches down the sidelines. That was the only thing that worked on this defense. I don't know why or what he did or what he's doing to me, but I may. I think I have like two, like two or three receptions, but that was max. I couldn't do it. I'm pretty sure all but one of them were on streak too. Um. Uh, but anyway, um, so now Jay, you know, you're doing, <laughs> Jay, I did it. You the worst one, one. <laughs> the worst one, he's going to go ahead and um, give me some time to set up now, which is, you know, you like I said, you won't need this in the game, guys. It's real easy. Just yellow, yellow, purple, purple. 
and uh, just get on that defensive tackle, and, and you'll be all set up with it. But you guys will see when the coverage gets here. I mean, except for deep one-on-one -on -one down the sideline, it, it's a, a pretty solid defense. I mean, there's not really too many holes in it. Um, the slant out area, corner area, um, curl to flat area, that for some reason those zones don't ever all the way push to the sideline. So if he does happen to get time, that area will be open as well. But um, past that, there's not going to really be a whole lot. I just ran this in a ranked game probably, uh, I don't know, a couple hours ago. And I think I got like anywhere from six to seven interceptions. I don't really remember the exact number. Um, you know, and it was the first time I was running it. It's just, it's a real easy setup. And like I said, the thing I like really well about it is it seems to do a really good job against the outside run as well, which is a bonus for me because that's one of the areas that I se uh, severely lack defense is containing the outside run. So this was definitely a huge find for me, and I'm, you know, I'm definitely hoping that it can help you guys out just as much. Um, and now past defensive aggressive, those are all interceptions. All those little swats that you see, those are all computer picks. Um, just past defensive aggressive is just phenomenal. Um, if you guys watch some of my videos or if you watch some from uh, FNS Gaming, Florida Boy, he, he does it well, too, with the, the pass defense aggressive. And, I mean, you get a team that's fast enough in the secondary, and it's just wild interceptions nonstop constantly. So, and that's what we're going for, guys. You know what I mean? Obviously, we don't want to, you know, knock the ball down and never get turnovers. We want a turnover-creating defense. So that's ideally what we're going to go for. Uh, there's another pick to that same area of the field. It's a very, very rough area to throw to over there with the linebackers sliding out from the middle. So we, um, you know, we got, like I said, pretty much all of it locked up. Uh, there's another pick, and it's just, it's very hard to throw against it, guys. Very hard to throw against they it. Don't you, stop. they don't stop. They don't no, they stop. don't. They don't stop. <laughs> you either have to be super ultra patient, or you have to uh, throw something like that, uh, like a little face throw type deal. Um, wasn't quite really a face throw, but it was close. And um, that's really like all there is. You know what I mean? There's not too many holes in this for someone to get by. Um, if you happen to have monster defensive tackles that you can trust the computer to take care of for you, then go ahead and you drop down and use one of those middle linebackers. Um, those guys will definitely... Um, or the linebackers over the middle. They're not both middle linebackers, my bad. But uh, those guys will definitely uh, be worth it in, in coverage if you have somebody on the computer side that can get through the uh, the line. So a lot of teams, you know, that have dominant defensive tackles would work out real well with this defense. Um, Alabama comes to mind. Uh, Florida even. Florida's got a dominant defensive tackle in Howard. So, I mean, there's quite a few, you know, obviously out there that do. But, um as you can see, not really getting too much success on me. So we'll uh, continue to run a couple more plays here. And then uh, we'll show you against the outside run. And like I said, guys, the outside run, and for, for being such a, a passive, non-aggressive defense, it contains the outside run so well. It's ridiculous. Um, up the middle is a little bit of a different story. You know, I mean, if they start pounding the ball up the middle, you might want to switch up the defense some. Um, or you could even actually just not do the adjustments and it would probably be a lot better in the middle because you wouldn't have the linebackers vacating. So that's definitely, you know, something you could try to mix in. So we'll go against the run here and we're just going to uh, pick random pitch plays. And hopefully that, uh, hopefully that'll give you the idea as to what's going on with the outside run. Uh, I'm not going to show you against the inside guys because like I said, it's, you know, it's all up to you and how well you can shed a block. But if you shed blocks well as a defensive tackle, you can stop the inside run also. So getting the defense set up there, you can see it. And just, I mean, with the linebackers flowing to the outside like that in the purple zones, as well as already having the outside corner on a flat zone, it just makes it a very difficult area to run to to the outside. Um, not saying they never get it because, you know, most definitely, like, you can pick up some yards. But, I mean, ultimately with the outside run, the, the main goal is to contain it, in my opinion. I'm not even, like, so worried about shutting it down, per se. I just don't want to be giving up, you know, 30, 40-yard runs every time they toss the ball. That's uh, that's my goal. So <laughs> hopefully that's your goal, too. And if so, this, uh, this defense will definitely help you uh, achieve that. 
something new to run anyway. Um, probably going to continue to you know hit the lab a little bit more with this 335 and come up with some more stuff for it because it just seems like a defense you don't see very often. Everybody's concerned with running four threes and four two fives. Um, the one five five shake, you know, that's that's always a popular defense. So I'm definitely going to try to continue with this three three five and see where we can go with it, how well we can get it to work. And um, I, I do believe actually Fudgy is in the process of doing a free three three five ebook um, that you guys can all go and pick up on www.maddenstudents.com. It's uh, completely free. You just got to be a member. Uh, if you try to you know access it without being a member, it's going to say private members only or something along those lines so just go ahead and register it's free to register guys you'll never have to uh you know pay anything dealing with maddenstudents.com everything we do is free there's tournaments with free entry prizes or free entry and prizes so you don't have to pay anything to get in the tournaments but if you win them you could actually win something good um there's also the free ebooks you know constant activity in the forums you know we're just non-stop tips coming out um, I think you guys could probably see checking our channel. I mean, we're one of the one of the biggest Madden 12 tip producers so far as well. We have quite a few out there for it. Um, not really seeing too much from other people in that regard so far. Uh, you know, obviously except like Madden Bible or something because they wrote the guide. But um, other than that, we uh, you know just basically have a nice little community. Come hang out in the chat box. We even got a game room, so if you're bored, you can stop in, play some poker, do some chess. Um, Got a couple other games there that I'm not real sure how to play, I think. But, um, you know, a bunch of stuff there to do. It's always fun. And uh, we're also going to be starting to do a podcast, guys. So check out the podcast. First one's going to be this Saturday. Um, not sure of the time yet, so definitely check the site out for the time. But uh, as soon as we know it, we will get it to you. And uh, then, you know, we can just go from there. But uh, check it out. All the free learning and all the free teaching in the world happens at www.maddenstudents.com. That's right. And uh, that's about it for me, guys. One last time to set up, turn those yellows into purples, put two defensive linemen in yellows. Thanks, guys. Later. One, two, three. Let me hear you say KO. Competition can't move me. Wrong's one thing you won't do.